The first Yakuza game came out for PlayStation 2 back in 2006. Since then, there's been several games in the series, including up to the recent release of Yakuza 5 last year for the PlayStation 3, Yakuza 6 recent release in Japan last month, and the upcoming remake of the first Yakuza game, Yakuza Kiwami, for the PlayStation 4 currently expected in the States for 2017. However, before that, we do have a game that takes place before all of the games starting with Yakuza 0. え。例の死体が見つかったあの場所はな。the story takes place in December of 1988, where Kiryu, the main protagonist of the Dojima family, has been framed for murder. He discovers later that it was part of a bigger plan to gain control over a small piece of land called the Vacant Lot. Whether under the controls of the Dojimas, they can control the city, but because of the murder happening, things are complicated and attention has been brought to it. So in order to protect the ones that are close to him within the Dojima family, Kiryu leaves the Yakuza and he starts his own search for the real killer. You also play as another character named Maijima, a former Yakuza who was excommunicated after a job had went wrong. But after being kept under watch by his former group for so long, he's given a chance to rejoin by performing a job to prove his worth. However, he's met with a decision that affects his chances of survival. Each character has three fighting styles that you can choose from. The first is a typical brawling style that pretty much is all around in maneuvering and damage dealt. The next is a quick and stylish fighting style that you can use to outmaneuver and land several quick blows to the enemy and get away unharmed. And finally you have a style that emphasizes boosting the power of using weapons in a fight to allow you to deal massive damage. As you get money from completing missions and fights, you use it to buy upgrades and unlock hidden abilities, extend your health meter and remain in a fired up state for even longer to do more massive damage. It's mostly an action beat em up game, however with the amount of side quests and mini games available, it's arguably a multi-genre title. There are darts, bowling, karaoke, mahjong, even arcade games, and I mean games like Outrun or Space Harrier. There's also fishing, operating businesses, so many other things you can do in this game. The main story missions usually go from one point to another, fight a group of enemies, sometimes get a few dialogue options to choose from, rinse and repeat, but they do mix it up from time to time by giving you what seems to be hundreds of side quests that you can be stumble upon while you're just trying to complete the main objectives. The side quests themselves range from fun to interesting to just plain weird. <laughs> There's not a whole lot wrong with this game. Some of the things that I have, do have complaints about were still pretty good things about the game. For example, you could try to get to a specific area or just trying to finish a story quest when BAM, you're hit with another side quest. There are these modes called climax battles, which made it sound like you can go back and play story missions, but there are actually little challenges that you can play whenever you want. There were so many great missions that involved the main story that I wanted to go back and play just because it had me in awe but that option didn't exist. Also, playing the game on normal at times seemed too easy. Especially if you take the time to complete every side mission, it's easy to make your characters overpowered with techniques and boosting their health meter to maximum. So if you ever played the Yakuza games before and want a challenge, I would definitely consider playing on the harder difficulties. Other than that, there's just so much to do, you can actually forget to play the main game. I had so much fun running the numbers with Kiryu and turning profits from owned businesses and buying out the other competition than actually playing the game. Running the cabaret club in Majima was also a lot of fun, but even after the end game, you can go back and play the games whenever you want, especially once you can choose between which character you want to play as. In the end, I would definitely recommend getting Yakuza 0. Buy it day one. If you get the chance, it's well worth buying at full price. This is even a perfect time to get into the series since this takes place before any of the other games in the series at all, hence the name Yakuza 0. And with the remake Yakuza Kiwami do out later this year, you can be ready for more down the road. And while the HD ports of Yakuza 2 through Yakuza 4 aren't in the US yet, you can still play them if you have a PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 3. And who knows, maybe we'll still see more of those games somewhere down the road. 
This is a great game for those who missed out on the first time. You don't want to miss this chance again. Don't forget to subscribe for more content and videos from Confreaks and Geeks and ConFreaksandGeeks.com.